Hi you guys, it's me Farah Panda and I can't believe it, it's the final week of Ramadan and I'm absolutely happy that it's coming to the end of fasting but then I'm also unhappy because this month is coming to an end and it's, it was such a blessing month. I'm definitely looking forward for Eid this week, inshallah. They're saying that Eid could be on a Sunday or Monday for next week. But hopefully I'm I'm like praying to Allah, please let it be on Sunday so it'd be better for me than on a Monday my son won't miss school. But yay! I can't believe it. I just can't believe it. The whole month went so quick, I'm telling you. So yeah, um, it is quarter past 11 and it is a Monday morning and I've got quite a lot of things to do as always. Um, I've got to make a chicken curry today with some chana dal and um, yeah, that will taste lovely because chana dal tastes lovely no matter if you make it with, with meat or make it on its own it is very very delicious thing to eat and I love it so yeah I'll be making that today and then today I'll be vacuuming as normal and I'll see if I have a time wrapping presents with uh, to make some pasta parcel because that's one of the games I want to play um, on Eid and so yeah the kids will love it with them uh, and their cousins just gonna get straight to my cooking now before I get late and I'll see you later folks <laughs> I just finished my cooking and oh my god the whole house smells like curry and I, oh I hate that when my whole home smells like curry even though it smells nice and I can't really ingest it because I'm fasting but um yes I'll be definitely I'll be opening the windows I've got the windows open you know here you go I've got the window open so the windows open and I have to go and open the front door so all the smell can go off because I don't want to have curry smell on my clothes but anyway I'm off after that to take a shower and then I'll be praying I guess and vacuuming hopefully well it makes sense if I vacuum first but I'll think about it if I should vacuum today or not because I, I kind of vacuumed like the other I vacuumed yesterday but um but yeah I'll get back to ya later folks <laughs> okay guys it is two 35 going on to 240 now and I'm ready to go and collect my son and it is just a really hot day the weather is just it's just humid there's no wind it's just some really really dry kind of weather that makes you like sweat even though I took a shower and everything I'm still sweating really bad you know and yes folks today I do not feel like wearing any makeup I mean, I mean if I wore makeup now I would assume my makeup will like 
melt off my face that's how humid it is so um yeah i'm not wearing no makeup <laughs> but yeah and also the reason why wearing makeup every day isn't really good for your skin as you can see i mean i try to put that vaseline around my eyes but it's still dark my area my dark area are uh, you know it's really really bad you can see look Ooh, like that I'll just take a few days of not wearing makeup and then I can't notice it's like my skin uh, becomes light again around my eyes once I don't start wearing makeup up to two three days uh yeah I'm not gonna wear makeup <laughs> but yes I am ready and I'm waiting for another 10 15 minutes and then me and my baby is gonna go out let's go and get my son <laughs> Okay guys, it is five past four and I have just come back from my son's parents evening and yep, 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 it's gone very, very good. The teachers gave a very good high five to my son. I was happy with whatever I heard. And outside's just boiling. As you can see, I am absolutely sweating and I took a shower as well. So it looks to me I'm going to take a shower number two today. And it's just so humid. When I came into the school, actually, everyone's just watching me because I'm the woman with the veil. They all stare at me. Like, how, how can you wear a veil? I mean, I heard one parent say to another, like, how can she wear that? But I'm thinking to myself that, you know, come on. <laughs> Look, I've been in a really hot kind of weather in the past. This is nothing. And especially, actually, duh, hellfire is more... Worse than this weather, I'm telling you, a thousand times worse. But anyway, it is nearly like I said, it's five past four, and I've just given my kids their food because, like I said, I just put them into the container, like the cheesy bread and some crisp, so they eat and that. And yeah, I think I'm gonna take a nap. You know, I think I'm gonna take a nap. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna take a nap. And yep, I'll come back at ya when it's nearly time. Okay guys, I got up now from my nap. It's 6.40. I'm just, I just needed my nap. I literally needed my nap. I was so drowsy. Like, I really needed to have a couple of snooze to get me re-energised as well. So, right now, I'm going to make my kids their evening dinner before bed so i think i'm just going to give them the bread and the um curry that i made during the daytime so yeah okay guys you can see my kind of splattered in a microwave <laughs> chicken curry and do apologize yeah it is splattered for oh well and you got my toast well not me my children will have that now it's lunchtime! Yay! Okay guys, it is 8.25 in the evening. I bet you're wondering what, what I'm doing right now. Shall I tell you? <laughs> Don't get grossed out now guys. But yep, I am soaking my feet. And yes folks, I am aware my feet are very chubby and it, they look swollen because they are a little bit swollen i'm just putting my feet in a bucket of water and i just pour some salt into there and there's a good tip if your feet swollen or your feet aches just put some water in put some salt in and put your feet in and i swear after 15 minutes your feet will be painless <laughs> but yeah I am aware my feet are chubby, 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 my panda feet, doo, doo, doo. but anyway, yeah, that's what I'm doing, and I'm just waiting until 9 o'clock, and then I'll start making my iftar, so yeah, there's nothing else I'm doing right now, my kids are all asleep now, I gave them a bath, and I'm just sitting here on the sofa, and just soaking my feet, so I'll come back at you later, okay folks, it is 9.33 in the evening and we got a few more minutes until I open my fast. You can see a load of 
covered containers but I'm just going to quickly show you what I'm eating mushy peas I don't know you're probably thinking what the hell mushy peas only that's boring I'm also having this kind of yogurty dessert now it looks like really like messed up <laughs> but it's not it's coming the clay part basically this is a Bangladeshi doi and yeah it's, it's basically a sweet yogurt it's a thinner than a custard but it's really nice I've got my coffee here and I love my ready-made because no way I'm just going to go and make myself some fresh one because I'm too lazy after eating. Got my watermelon and these are sauces, cherry and got my dates and this is my family member's food. And yeah, so that's my iftar and I'll see you back after I've eaten. Bye! Okay guys, it is 10.40 and I finished my iftar and oh my god, I am so full as always. Drank a loads of cups of water and just had that doy, that yogurty, custardy dessert and oh my god. I feel a little bit sick because I've overeaten but I'm okay, I'm okay now as I sat down and rested a little bit. Nothing really happened uh, today except for me doing my work and household chores and school run and yeah. I'm actually very very happy that it is the end of Ramadan month and this is practically the last week. Can you believe it? The last week. So I want to say thank you guys for following me. Guys, stay tuned for more of my vlogs. <laughs> and yeah, so I'm just going to end my vlog here. As always, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe. So Take care of yourselves, guys. I'll see you next time with me, Farah Panda. Bye.